how I got to Appalachian. I got there because of an ad I saw for a graduate school and Dr. Walker, Robert Walker, he heard about Livingston because it was an HBCU that was in Salisbury, North Carolina, and he needed to find a student of color for his grant. You know, it was a special grant for um, to train teachers to teach culturally disadvantaged students. Came down to Livingstone uh, the day after graduation because he hadn't received my application. Walked around campus while I filled out another application and then went back to Boone and accepted me into his program. Three years. I was there for three years. I did two years of grad school and then I taught there a year. I think the advice I'd give Appalachian students is the same I give all of our students is make the most of what you've got. You know, I went to Appalachian for two years, I got my master's degree, but I learned a lot that I wasn't tested on. We're here to learn how to learn and that once you learn how to learn, you can learn almost anything. I started out in mathematics, I ended up teaching computer programming, and then ended up doing uh, staff development. That was what I went to school for. So having a well-rounded liberal education helps you to explain your specialty area, more so than having a narrow focus on one thing. My biggest hope would be that in 10 years, Appalachian would look totally different than what it does now, in being that stu more students would be involved in doing research, that there would be a, a larger, diverse population. Community service is important all the time, but it's really important while you're in college. I don't think people understand that it's your privilege to be able to go to college. Not everyone can go to college. And while you're there, you owe something back to the community that sent you and a community that you happen to be learning in. So I think public service is one of the ways that you can give back to those communities. It doesn't have to be a lot of time, but giving back some time. And it doesn't always have to be money that's involved in it. Your time is more precious than anything. So those are the type of things that college students could do and that would give them something that would be lifelong. It's something they can continue after they get out of college. And also, I hope gives them a sense that they can make a difference, you know, and that that should be what their life's work is about, of helping others and making a difference.